Welcome to Neon Cobra. Before we kick into it, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if we can. I'm looking to grow this naturally. And with that, let's kick into it. All right, this has been a busy week. It's Microsoft Ignite, and they are releasing updates left and right. So I wanted to take a second to pause, actually, and talk about Azure Local, which I made a joke about it on LinkedIn. It's essentially a beefed up version of Azure Stack HCI. So when we're taking a look at this technology, essentially it's a way to do edge computing or push Azure-based services into your um, local environments. So there are some really great advantages to this. Specifically, like if your organization, at least for MSPs in this particular um, fashion, if, the, if you've aligned yourself with Azure Virtual Desktop and you're fine, maybe you have a location that is really hard on the internet, right? Just bad round trip times and things like that. You can put an edge device provided from any of the OEM providers that is Azure Stack HCI or Azure Local now. And that will provide you the ability to run it locally in the environment. And it kind of does this cloud caching thing, which is really, really neat and provides you the ability to run ABD locally and still reference information and have it managed and accessed from within Azure itself. So this is great. And the consumption model that it kind of builds itself around is very lucrative around growing and bursting for requirements and scaling back in. We'll traditionally see a lot of additional things like, you know, clustering, um, Kubernetes containerization, so you can actually spin up on localized resources as opposed to spinning up Azure-based consumption resources. And it just kind of uses the Azure arc to facilitate communication and management all the way through. So we're going to see some rebrands. It's going to be called Azure Local moving forward. I really see this as like an edge case. And I don't mean like it won't be used a lot. I mean like edge environments where maybe internet's not the best. You need to extend overall reliability and kind of productivity. It has an amazing set of security feature sets into it as well. And it really kind of prevents that IT sprawl that tends to happen when we're trying to solve for problems outside of the norm. I'll link some documentation. It's all brand new stuff, at least on the Azure local side. There's gonna be a lot of information coming down in Ignite. So I'm gonna to try to do a recap next week. There's some really good things I think coming down for the MSP space. Anyways, catch you next time. Cheers.